Shemot, Exodus 29. And this is the thing that you shall do unto them to hallow them, to minister unto me in the priest's office. Take one young bullock and two rams without blemish and matzah and matzah cakes tempered with oil and matzah wafers anointed with oil of wheaten flour shall you make them and you shall put them into one basket and bring them in the basket with at the bullock and at the two rams and at Aharon and at his sons you shall bring unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly and shall wash them with water and you shall take at the garments and put upon at Aharon the coat and at the robe of the ephod and at the ephod and the at breastplate and gird him with the belt of the ephod and you shall put the turban upon his head and put at the holy crown upon the turban then you shall take at the anointing oil and pour it upon his head and anoint him And you shall bring at his sons and put coats upon them. And you shall gird them with belts. Aharon and his sons and put the bonnets on them. And the priest's office shall be theirs for a perpetual statute. And you shall consecrate Aharon and his sons. And you shall cause at a bullock to be brought before the tabernacle of the assembly. And Aharon and his sons shall put at their hands upon the head of the bullock. And you shall kill at the bullock before Yahuwah by the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And you shall take of the blood of the bullock and put it upon the horns of the altar with your finger and pour at all the blood beside the bottom of the altar. And you shall take at all the fat that covers at the inwards and at the call that is above the liver and at the two kidneys and at the fat that is upon them and burn them upon the altar. But at the flesh of the bullock, and at his skin, and at his dung, shall you burn with fire without the camp. It is a sin offering. And you shall also take at one ram, and Aharon and his sons shall put at their hands upon the head of the ram and you shall slay at the ram and you shall take at his blood and sprinkle it round about upon the altar and you shall cut at the ram in pieces and wash the inwards of him and his legs and put them unto his pieces and unto his head and you shall burn at the whole ram upon the altar. It is a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. It is a sweet savor, an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And you shall take at the other ram, and Aharon and his sons shall put at their hands upon the head of the ram, then shall you kill at the ram and take of his blood and put it upon the tip of the right ear of Aharon and upon the tip 
the right ear of his sons, and upon the thumb of their right hand, and upon the great toe of their right foot, and sprinkle at the blood upon the altar round about. And you shall take of the blood that is upon the altar, and of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it upon Ahran, and upon his garments, and upon his sons, and upon the garments of his sons with him, and he shall be hallowed, and his garments, and his sons, and his sons' garments with him. Also you shall take of the ram the fat and the rump, and at the fat that covers at the inwards, and at the call above the liver, and at the two kidneys, and at the fat that is upon them, and at the right shoulder, for it is a ram of consecration. And one loaf of bread, and one cake of oiled bread, and one wafer out of the basket of the matzah that is before Yahuwah. And you shall put all in the hands of Aharon, and in the hands of his sons, and shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahuwah. And you shall receive them of their hands, and burn them upon the altar for a burnt offering, for a sweet savor before Yahuwah. It is an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And you shall take at the breast of the ram of Aharon's consecration and wave it for a wave offering before Yahuwah, and it shall be your part. And you shall sanctify at the breast of the wave offering and at the shoulder of the heave offering, which is waved and which is heaved up of the ram of the consecration, even of that which is for Ahran, and of that which is for his sons. And it shall be Ahran's and his sons by a statute forever from the children of Yasharael. For it is a heave offering, and it shall be a heave offering from the children of Yasharael of the sacrifice of their peace offerings, even their heave offering unto Yahuwah. And the holy garments of Ahran shall be his sons after him, to be anointed therein, and to be consecrated at in them. And that son that is priest in his stead shall put them on seven days when he comes into the tabernacle of the assembly to minister in the holy place. And you shall take at the ram of the consecration and at seethe his flesh in the holy place. And Ahran and his sons shall eat at the flesh of the ram and at the bread that is in the basket by the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And they shall eat those things wherewith the atonement was made to consecrate and to sanctify at them. But a stranger shall not eat thereof because they are holy. And if aught of the flesh of the consecrations or of the bread remain unto the morning, then you shall burn at the remainder with fire. It shall not be eaten, because it is holy. And thus shall you do unto Aharon and to his sons, according to all things which I have commanded you. Seven days shall you consecrate them 
And you shall offer every day a bullock for a sin offering for atonement. And you shall cleanse the altar when you have made an atonement for it. And you shall anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days you shall make an atonement for the altar and sanctify it. And it shall be an altar most holy. Whatsoever touches the altar shall be holy. Now this is that which you shall offer upon the altar. Two lambs of the first year, day by day, continually. At the one lamb you shall offer in the morning, and at the other lamb you shall offer at evening. And with the one lamb a tenth deal of flour, mingled with the fourth part, of a hin of beaten oil, and the fourth part of a hin of wine for a drink offering. And at the other lamb you shall offer at evening, and shall do thereto according to the meat offering of the morning, and according to the drink offering thereof, for a sweet savor an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. This shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly before Yahuwah, where I will meet you to speak there unto you. And there I will meet with the children of Yashadael, and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. And I will sanctify at the tabernacle of the assembly and at the altar. I will sanctify also both at Aharan and at his sons to minister to me in the priest's office. And I will dwell among the children of Yashadael and will be their Elohim. And they shall know that I am Yahuwah Elohehem that brought them forth out of the land of Mitzrayim that I may dwell among them. I am Yahuwah Elohehem.